we're going to make angel biscuits. I had a viewer request that I show this recipe um, during my cornbread dressing recipe where I featured my grandmother's angel biscuits. And so today I want to show you how to make them. They are just wonderful. Now, um, last year I saw a recipe in what's called the Southern Living Magazine for angel biscuits. And I got to looking at that recipe and I'd already been thinking about making my grandmother's recipe again for angel biscuits because I've used her recipe many times. And so I thought this time I'll give the Southern Living recipe a try and just see how it compared to my grandmother's recipe. So I will include both of the recipes so that you can try them out. Um, I'll leave them here if you want to jot them down or I'll also include them in the description area of the video if you'd like to copy and paste them to your computer. The main difference I noticed was that the Southern um, Living recipe calls for a little bit more baking powder and it uses a little bit of butter as well. I do think they turned out to be much more fluffy than my grandmother's. Now my grandmother's were wonderful. I really, really loved her biscuits and I so remember her um, bagging them up for us every time we would go and visit her way out in the country. She'd reuse a little bread bag that she had bought, maybe a loaf bread in, and she would fill that up with angel biscuits and we would enjoy those on our trip home from visiting her. So there are fond, memory, fond memories with those and um, you know they're both wonderful. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to make the Southern Living version here so that you can give them a try if you like. So, we'll go ahead and start by dissolving our yeast and getting that ready. And we'll combine our salt, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and flour. Now, I'm using a bread flour and just go ahead and whisk that together and get all those combined up real good. And we'll use um, some cold butter. Go ahead and chip in your cold butter and then we'll add our shortening as well. Now my grandmother used just all shortening in hers, but this recipe I'm using a little butter and a little bit of shortening. And we wanna just combine that until it comes to a coarse texture. Now we can add our buttermilk. I'm going to just slowly incorporate the buttermilk into the flour mixture. So once that starts to come together, go ahead and add your yeast. and it should come together pretty good. It'll look a little bit like this. And now we're just going to wrap it up with cling film. And this is probably the biggest difference about making angel biscuits versus just about any other kind of biscuit I've ever made or bread for that matter, is that we have yeast in it, but we're also going to refrigerate it. So I'm gonna refrigerate this overnight. Now you can leave this in the refrigerator for oh, about five days to a week and continue to use it. It won't last that long though if you have a family because they're going to want you to make these over and over again. So the next day I went ahead and um, removed my chilled batter and I worked it just a tiny bit. I just like to flatten it out a little bit and then just kind of fold it over about three or four times. I don't like to overwork it. And now we can roll it out. Cooking these in a cast iron skillet really just takes these to the next level. So if you have a cast iron skillet, pull it out for these biscuits because they just rise up so beautifully and just they're so fluffy. So we'll go ahead and bake these in a preheated oven. It's preheated at 425 degrees. After they've been cooking about, I don't know, five, six minutes, I like to go in and brush them with a little bit of salted butter and we will let them continue to bake until they look about like this. It could be about 17 to 20 minutes. And I'll brush them again uh, right out of the oven with some more of the melted and reserved butter that I had on the side. And now we can give them a taste and they should just be beautiful. I just love these biscuits. They are so wonderful. And you'll just break them apart. They'll be nice and flaky and fluffy and steaming hot. Perfect for a little dab of butter. So I hope you can give them a try. Let me know how you like it if you do. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.